Hello, and welcome back to Awesome Nick Chaotic. It's awesome you're here, and welcome to Portal Revolution. A mod of Portal 2 that has been in development for over 8 years. And finally it's out. I'm super excited to play this because, well, I, I really love Portal. And, well, this is kind of a prequel to Portal 2. So let's see what happened all that time in between Portal 1 and Portal 2. Let's get started on the uh, first room. I wonder if we get to meet Wheatley. Good morning, test subject. You have been in suspension for 72 days. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. Hmm. You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. Oh, wow. Cool. To be accepted into the human emergency response team, you will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. Please press the button to accept the terms. Of course. Thank you for volunteering. The door will open in three, two, one. This is so cool. It's so nice to be able to play a version of Portal again. No, that doesn't look good. Zero out of nine. Alright, let's go. may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. You will now participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. And there we go, our cube. That obviously goes on top there. this one go Please be 
be advised that noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light-sensing rods and cones inside your head. Let's just actually look at the captions and say dialogue only because it's quite a lot. Actually, now that the portal is here, let's just go through it. That gets us to the portal. Oh, that is kind of the same as in one or two, I think. Possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. As a candidate for the Human Emergency Response Team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations, and as such, will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. This is so cool. I just really don't know what else to say. I wonder where the story will go to. The description of the game said that difficulty kind of picks up where Portal 2 left off. And that did get a bit uh, difficult in the end. The in the next test chamber will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. In the rare case that wind and weather conditions appear to be ordinary, please stay idle in the entrance foyer until the desired conditions are met. Cannot shoot through there. What? We can do this. Okay, wait, we already have a portal there. We just now need a portal to go through there. So probably we pick up this block. There we go. but we need another cube over here. Which means that as soon as we press this button, that one will disintegrate. Um, actually, we don't need that. We can just grab this one. There we go. And stop! Congratulations, test subject number one. You have set the world record for this exercise and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. I take that as a big win. Okay, what do we have here? Tests may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes, as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case the light sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. There we go, we need this cube. Oh, 
but we also need to get this light somewhere. We need to get the lights. Actually, just through there. Why do we need it through there? I don't think we need to. So, if we just shoot the portal here, pick this up, and turn that around. That's not fair. And if we shoot it... Wait, if we do this... So we somehow need to... Shoot this portal, take the cube, now we can't get there. Um. Leave this here. Oh boy, no. Go through here, no, get the cube. No, it actually also goes there. We just need to go through here, I think. There we go. You have completed the test. If you have not done so already, you are permitted to open your eyes. Before starting with the next test chamber, we would like to remind you that, so far, no experiment has yet unproven whether or not weighted storage cubes are not incapable of not feeling pain when being emancipated. Well, we all know there's lore behind these cubes, so... I don't really think they feel pain. Go. Get this cube, get that on here. And there we go. Yeah, so this cube needs to go here and the other cube needs to actually go to the other side. But we can only do that with uh, that thing unlocked. So this one over here. Let's take this one over there and through the door we go. Room number six. Well done, Candidate. Yeah. You have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck. There you go. Where does the cube that comes from there?
So far, so good. On behalf of the Enrichment Center, I wish to apologize about the current state of our testing facility. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to provide an experience of suitable quality at this time. Um, you go through there, flies through. Here and then we grab it. No, that seems fine. Although it's probably an extra challenge because that basically just disables, but uh hmm. This one will work. Oh, okay, so then if we, we this is the thing of timing. Okay, so we click this. Now it's there, it goes through there, we and we've got it. So that's one. But we need to get it over there. And we cannot get another one. Where do we get a laser cube from? Laser cube is probably from here. Yep, that will work. So through there, it falls, it jumps up and down just a few times. And there it is. Our laser is over here. This is activated by this one. But then we need to get that cube over on this side. Which we can do with our laser cube. Because the laser cube needs to stay here. And we can get this one over on this side. We go back. And there we go. This was a bit of a puzzle. This one was tougher. Not bad. Oh, it's over here. Robots don't sleep, and they can test and do your job. Volunteer for testing today. Cool, secret room. And one more secret room. Nice, I like these details. Wow. Oh, those creepy sounds. All right, let's move on.
As a consequence of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Alright, let's test them out. Uh, okay, so we can shoot a portal here. We have a portal over there. And a cube that just falls down there. Alright. Um, let's just shoot a portal there and let's see where the... Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. Whoops. There. Try that. Hmm. Interesting. Good. That faith plate is now properly calibrated. It's okay, so now we have at least a portal there, so the cube will come out from there. So that's why there are holes in the ceiling. That's a huge jump. Alright, let's see. How do we get our um, cube? That's false, and then through the orange. And let's try to catch it. There we go. I am only not sure where we have to use this. Oh, there we go. It's over there. That makes us go up there. Oops. Um, okay, wait, now we need to find the diagonal thing. And there we go. Wow, motion sickness alert. Um, over there, that will come to us. Hopefully. These are new. Companion orbs. Well done. From now on, all aerial faith plates should be configured correctly. I promise. Oh, and now I think we're gonna get well to the bridges. We're nearing the final test chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. Okay, so laser in here that will activate a lift. Well, the laser does come from here. We have a cube over here. Okay, but we need to stand on there, I think. So otherwise we won't be able to get up there. I think we can manage that. If we stand on here. Well then we actually should stand on it and not next on it. Stand on it, shoot the portal, go up. We've got a Weighted thing forward over there. You need to get up there. Uh, including cube, of course. Uh, 
And now we need to get our laser all the way there. Okay, that's a tricky one. Unless... As we keep a portal here, is there a possibility for us to cut up there? There is. I don't know if we get a new one. Oh, come on. And now the door is unlocked. Awesome, so that's the last room, I suppose. As a reminder, your Aperture Science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science Hard Light Bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Let's shoot a portal there. I think we need it. There's our hard light bridge. Hey. Okay, we first need a cube over there. Where do we get a cube from? here but that just doesn't go through there but I can just walk through the portal duh let's get a cube let's do this then from here we have our light bridge, but we first also need to disable this side, otherwise, well, that happens. Okay, we can shoot a portal there, but we are still stuck with this doorway. There's an aerial fate plate over there. How do we get our light bridge? I don't think this will help. Oh, we can't even jump that high. We can't get over there. How do we disable this one? Something from up there? Huh, we have the laser here, of course, still. The laser needs to be blocked. So that disabled that, but where do we get a thing from? We first need to get a cube up here. Let's, let's just first try getting the cube on that side. As this blocks, then we have this one here. Then we have our light bits.
And we can use an area of faith plate that should be correctly configured. That takes us here. So that means that we can get another cube. Which we can then get on this side. But how does that matter? Because we still need to get a cube there as well. We really need two cubes. This is one thing. So we technically don't really need to go through there. But we need to be able to... Okay, wait, I think I figured it out. Um... I just don't know how to get there now. So, we remove the laser if we get up there. Alright, no, okay, wait. How did I get there? Now I'm, now I'm lost again. You first need to disable this one. How did I do that before? By getting the laser there. Which we had to do. Uh, oh, by the... yeah. Hmm. Okay, wait. We first need to break the laser. Here, break this laser. We can go through there then. Then I can shoot a portal here. We can get a new cube. And that somehow got our portal destroyed again. Oh, come on, game. This one over here. New cube. Remove this. Then we needed a bridge. With the plate, we can jump over here. Then we get another cube. Um, and then we just somehow need to get a cube over there as well as the thing there. And I think as soon as I jump off from there, then it's basically just I have to do the things again. Unless... We now have the bits. So now I can jump there. Get the cube. Drop the cube on top here. 
and we can cross over. There we go. Congratulations! You did it! I'm sorry for the surprise. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, baked. I'll be honest with you now. There is no after science human emergency response team. <gasps> I made it up. Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down after all. The Guardian and Intrusion system doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. Okay. Dark in here, isn't it? The checkpoint is right there. Life assurance is void upon leaving presentation room. And there's Maybe a button here. Get through this stationary portal emitter. Uh, is there any portal wall somewhere? Can we just shoot anywhere? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Beam OS. There it is. Hmm. The controls are manual, so I can't help you. Got a clue? Well, that's a timer. Or what? Okay, so you have to stand in the scanner to get registered. Any plan how? Yep. Well, uh, fingers crossed. Oh, good idea. I think that did the trick. Good. I can now register you as our new janitor. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. I'm the facilities manager and your new supervisor. Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. Oh, wait. You, uh, can't go that way. Find a way around. Hmm, okay. Can I go through doors now? Oh, I can. Awesome. Authorized personnel only. Not everyone gets this position, you know. You should be proud. Cleaning up after humans that don't exist anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Chapter 2, The Default Roots. I think this is where I will leave it for episode 1. So episode 2, chapter 2. Hope you liked this. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.